Hello friends, welcome to Oracle new feature video series. In this video, we are going to see another interesting new feature that is introduced from Oracle 18C that is called inline external table. So before understanding what is an inline external table concept, let us first understand what is a external table. Okay, see whenever we want to access a data from a file into a database. I'm not talking about a data which is present inside the database. See, normally we'll create a table and we'll populate the data and we'll access the data. But sometimes there is a need for us to access the data which is outside the database. For example, you want to access the data from an Excel sheet or a CSV file into a database, a comma separated file or a text file, whatever the information. Sometimes we may want to access the data from a external file. So there are many ways by which we can access the data from an external file. One is like we can use the util underscore file package and we can write our PLSQL program which can actually do the file handling operations like reading from a predefined directory and then you can do your programming con constructs. The second way is, is that there is a SQL loader utility that is very simple which help us to load the data from an external file into database. So there is another very simple way to access the data external data that is called external table. Suppose for example, if I want to access this particular information, like whatever I'm showing you here, this particular information I want to access. So this is nothing but a CSV uh, file that is a comma separated file, which is there in a one particular location in a, in a machine. If you want to access this through an external table, you just need to follow only three simple steps. One is like you just need to create a directory object. This directory object should point to the directory, whatever you want to access. So it should be the same. Next is that you need to create a table. So this is an external table. Uh, how you will be uh, telling this is an external table is that you will be giving a additional class called organizational external. So within this class, you'll be telling what type of loader you are using. What is the directory from you want to load? So this is the directory name. This is nothing but whatever you just now created using the directory object. The next is the access parameter class uh, will say the metadata information about the file which you are loading. For example, what is the uh, line delimiter? What is your field delimit delimiter? All these things. And finally, what is the name of the file? All these things. So once you have created this particular external table, you can simply say select star from this particular table. You can say this select star from this. The moment you say select star from this, this will in fact read the information from the Excel sheet into the database. So you'll be actually seeing a result as if the information is from a table. Okay. So this is in, in this case, it is actually reading from the CSV file. So this is the very simple concept of uh, external file. And this is a behavior till 12C. In fact, the same behavior exists in 18C, but there is a new feature introduced on top of this. To understand the new feature, we just need to understand what is an external table. First, let me show you this particular example in a very quick demo. Then we'll see what is the external, uh, then we'll see what is the new feature that is being introduced from 18C. Okay, if you can see here, I have a file called emp underscore details dot csv, which has information about some employee. There are 14 uh, employee information available here. Now we are just going to access this particular uh, data in using the external table. Okay, as I mentioned, first we need to create a directory. I'm just creating a directory using the create directory DDL command. The next part, I'm just going to create the external table. So here is the DDL script. I'm just creating the table. You can see now the table is created. Now you can simply say select star from external table or whatever the table name you have given. As you can see here, now the information is actually retrieved from the uh, CSV file. This information is nowhere stored inside the database. After accessing this information, probably if you want, you can insert into any of the table you want. Okay. So this is a simple concept of external table. Okay. So now we'll see what is a new feature that is being introduced from 18C. So here is the Oracle documentation which says that inline external tables enable the runtime definition of an external table to be part of SQL statement. So this is important. Okay. The definition of the external table. Now you can give as part of this SQL statement itself. That is as part of the select statement itself. 
till 12c if you want to access the data you need to first create a table that is you need to first execute a ddl a ddl statement to create a table only after creating a table you will be able to do the selection okay now this from uh, 18c this inline external table eliminates the need to create the external table okay now you can explain uh, you don't have to explicitly create the external table directly in your select statement itself you can give all these metadata information which will access the information from the particular directory okay now we'll see the syntax then i will show you the um, demo so the same example now I, i'm i'm going to access through the inline external table so obviously we need a directory so first we need to create the directory because uh, to access the information first we need a directory right so first make sure that you create this directory once you created the directory so here is the inline external table now we are not going to create a table instead uh, as part of the select statement itself in an, a new class called external class we are just giving all this information whatever the information now previously we have given as part of the ddl statement that is as part of create table statement now we are giving all this information as part of the select statement itself now once you execute this select statement this in turn reads all this information from the csv file into the our database so this is the inline external table okay now we'll see the demo for this so since i have already created this external data directory object now you don't have to recreate again because the directory object is already created now as you can see here i just given select star from external is a new class it's the key now you you can give all these information like whatever the information we have previously given now all this information you can give as part of the select statement itself now by executing a select statement you are actually reading all this information from the uh, csv file so <clears throat> so this inline external table is introduced from 18c onwards okay now we'll see one more uh, uh, small use case uh, to understand how this inline external view is comparatively better because using the external uh, table also we are accessing the same data using inline external table also we are using the uh, we are accessing the same data but how it is comparatively better that we'll just understand using a simple use case for example if i want to access uh, data from three different uh, csv file one csv file one csv file contains information about employees who is working in department 10 the second is like employee working in department 20 in the third csv file i have the information about the department employees working in department 30 suppose if you want to access all these three information typically uh, if you want to create an external table then we'll be creating like this only we'll be giving all these file names here so whenever you access the table saying that select star from external emp all department table all this information will be read okay we'll, we'll quickly see this then we'll come back to this slide so here is the table creation script whatever i have showed you just now okay okay it's already there let me just drop once and recreate okay, i'm just dropping it so let me just recreate now the table is recreated now if you see select star from this particular uh, thing now it is actually reading from all the three csv file and it is just giving the information okay so um the one problem is uh, suppose if i want to access only the employees of department 10 then you need to create another external table saying only for department 10 something like this you just need to remove everything let's say let's create just one more table called department 10 okay i'm just creating the table is created now if you try to access this will just bring only the information of department in same way you can create another uh, table for 20 and 30 but from 18c uh, we j we don't since we don't have to create the table itself based on our need we just need to give whatever the file information we want for example if you see here so here is, this is from 18c you can see right whatever the information we want we can just suppose if i don't want uh, department 20 information I'll, I'll just remove the file name i'll just execute this if i just want only the 30 i'll just remove this also okay i'll just get only the 30 suppose if i want only uh, 30 and 20 
I'll be just giving whatever the files or whatever the information I need. I'll, I'll be just giving only that. So this is more flexible because we don't have to create a table for each and every time. By this way, this will be more flexible and it will be more useful. So this is what we just now saw uh, from 18C. We can just give the file name based on our need. We, whatever the file name we are giving, it will just access the information. But keep it in mind that the uh, whatever you are trying to uh, consolidate, it should be compatible. That means all these uh, three files should be of a same format. That means the number of column, the data type should match. Otherwise, you will get an error. And whenever you are accessing, suppose if the data is not coming properly, then you there will be a log which will get automatically generated in the same directory which you can go and check. Because right now you have actually accessed the external table as well as the inline external table multiple times, right? So by this time, so many logs would have got generated. I'll just show you the log files. If you can see here, for every access, you'll be seeing like some logs will be generated. So in case if data is not getting retrieved properly, then you can just go and check any one of these log. This will just give you the information about why this particular data is not coming. Maybe right now the information, everything is there. So it is just giving. Otherwise, you'll be able to see the error error information in this log files itself. Just a quick comparison about uh, the current external table and an inline external table is in the current external table, we just need to do a create table. So this is the only difference. You need to first create the table, then only you'll be able to do the, you'll be able to access the table using the select statement. So this is till 12C. In fact, the same thing available on 18C also, but the new feature from 18C is that you don't have to create the table. Instead, all this information, whatever part of uh, uh, create table statement, now you can, you can define as part of the select statement itself. You can give as part of the select statement itself. By executing the select statement, you'll be getting all this information. So this is from 18C. If you have learned something new, please like this video and subscribe and stay tuned for new feature videos, interview questions, concept videos, tips and tricks, and SQL practice questions. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Please share your comments.